fashion these days tends to be really cookie cutter. People are all wearing the same things because they're all buying the same things. Every fashion house is making the same things. But it's more than that too. It's like the fashion industry expects us all to have the same few types of bodies as if we're not all completely individual with our own shapes. And for me, I really run up against this problem with body shape when it comes to my feet because according to the fashion industry I have feet that are too big for a woman because most shoe companies do not make women's shoes in my size. So I tend to paint my shoes so that they're things that I actually want to wear. I paint leather shoes and I paint canvas shoes. These canvas shoes were originally high tops and I painted them black years ago so I could wear them for a theater piece that I was participating in and I just wasn't wearing them because I don't really like high tops and I don't really wear black shoes if I can avoid it and so I decided to give them a new life. I wanted them to be really bright so I started off with white paint, picking out some designs with white paint and then I went over that with some colors that I was interested in and with canvas shoes, the paint sticks really well to the canvas part and really pretty well to the rubber part as well, especially if the rubber is sort of scuffed ahead of time if it's not like you buy the shoes and then you paint them directly. With leather shoes, these ones are a couple of years old. Um, you can see that they're scuffed at this point and there's some paint flaking off, but they were suede originally and so are these ones that I'm painting now. And the suede is good because it gives a texture. If the leather isn't suede, um, maybe go over it with some sandpaper lightly to sort of give it more of a texture that the paint can grab onto, or maybe even remove oils with rubbing alcohol or something like that. In this case I wanted the colors to be a little bit less bright, so I started off not with a white but with a green and a kind of blue and then I go over it with my favorite magenta and I kind of work back and forth with those colors. I'm probably not going to learn how to make shoes in my lifetime so I can have the exact shoe that I want, but that doesn't mean that I have to listen to the industry and wear what they think I should wear or that I have to listen when they try to convey to me that my feet are too big for a woman. I can turn my shoes into something that's a lot more me. If you'd like to receive an email every time I publish a video like this one, or an article, or an artwork, you can sign up through Patreon. It's just a dollar a month. That money makes all the difference to me, and it makes you eligible for regular giveaways of my original artwork.